Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about the determinant of triangular matrices. So in general, if, a, if you have a um, triangular matrix, then the determinant of that matrix is just the product of the entries along the main diagonal of A. So the matrix could be upper triangular form or lower triangular form. Okay. So, uh, so as an example, okay, let's say... Okay. Let's say you have a matrix called A. Let's say it's, uh, let's say at 1, 2, 3, 0. Oops. Fix that. 4, 5, 0, 0, and this is 6. So the determinant of this matrix, okay, which is the same as this notation. So the determinant of A is just the product along the main diagonals. So that's going to be 1 times 4 times 6. And that's going to give us 24. Okay. So it's not too difficult to see this. Um, we can actually uh, we can go through we can prove this using like a general idea from mathematical induction so let's start with um, a 2 by 2 matrix let's call that a2 so let's let this be a b 0 and c so a b and z are just uh, real values here okay so this is a upper triangular form Okay, so the determinant of this is just the, uh, right, it's, in this case, it's just going to be A times C minus 0 times B. So A times C minus 0 times B, and that's going to give us A times C. Okay. So that corresponds to, okay, so that corresponds to these entries, okay, the product of these main, the, uh, the main, the entries along the main diagonal. Okay, let's create, uh, let's look at a 3x3 three three case. So let's say you have A, B, C, 0, D, E, and then 0, 0, and F. So the determinant of this matrix, okay, we can use the idea of cofactors here. So I can either use the first column or um, I can use any column or row, it doesn't matter, but I want to use the one with the, more, with, with the most zeros. So in this case, uh, I can use, uh, let's go ahead and use the third row. Okay, so crossing these out. Okay, so using the idea of cofactors, we're going to have so plus minus plus minus plus. So that's going to be positive f, and then times the determinant of the leftover matrix. So that's going to be a b zero d. So the determinant of this is going to be okay, similar to what we. Um, similar uh, using the formula of determinants from what we did in the for for a2 so it's going to be a d times or a d I'm sorry a times d minus zero so this is going to be f times a times d okay so that's what we see here okay so you're taking the product so so a times D and then times F okay so let's do for this for 4 by 4 so you have A B C D 0 0 oops that's going to be E F G 0 0 H I 
and this will be zero 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 j. Okay, so the determinant of this, of A4, again, I'm going to use the row or column with the most zeros. So in this case, I'm going to use row 4. Okay, so again, using the idea of cofactors. So you're going to have J times the uh, determinant of the leftover matrix, so it's A, B, C. 0 e f 0 0 h okay and then getting the determinant of that okay let's go over here so a b c 0 e f 0 0 h So I want to make so the determinant of this okay is going to be again I'm gonna use the third row here because it has the most zeros. Okay. Um we're going to get let's see. So this is going to be plus minus plus minus plus. So this will be H times okay the determinant of A B zero zero. And oh sorry, that's E, not zero. So that's an E here. Okay, so then that's gonna give us H times A times E. So all this is going to be, so all this part right here is just the determinant of this. So that's going to give us J times H times A times E. And again, that corresponds to the product along the main diagonal here. So you have A times E times H and J. Okay, so you can use this approach um, along with mathematical induction to actually come up with a nice uh, proof of this. So again, it's just if you have an upper, upper or lower triangular matrix, it's just going to be the product of the main diagonal. Okay, so what you what you need to be careful of is that if you're given, let's say you're not given a triangular matrix and you go through a row operations and you put this into upper triangular form, the determinant may not be the same as the original matrix. So we're gonna uh, we'll we'll discuss this later in the next uh, that's in, actually in the next section, okay. So there's some relationship between the determinant and the row operations, okay. So we're gonna look at that later.